out of San Francisco from Professor Nicholas Economides, Professor of Economics, New York University School of Business called Stern, also a visiting professor at Berkeley. Um, double professor, thank you very much. Good to see you. Welcome back to the show. Let me start with Japan and we'll work our way around the world. Let's start with Abenomics. Is it working or is there something that's gone wrong here that the markets seem to indicate? Well, the jury's out. We don't really know if it's working or not. Uh, it's a policy that depends a lot on um, swinging expectations, changing expectations. And uh, in the beginning, it looked like uh, it was working fine and the expectations were going in the right direction. But in the last month or so, it has faltered. The expectations have been different uh, and not what um, the policy was prescribing. All right, let's, let's move east and we'll skip over Hawaii and we'll come over here to the United States. Karina Huber was talking about the U.S. retail sales figures, talking about how the consumer seems to be improving and it's a little bit better. And I'm confused because I thought that we had all these budget cuts with the government and the austerity and the Social Security tax, that that was supposed to cramp consumer spending. Why is the consumer so strong? Well, you know, the numbers have been mixed. Sometimes they look good, sometimes they look bad. Uh, generally, the recovery of the United States has not been great, has been so-and-so. And given the constraints that uh, the president, President Obama, faces in Congress, there is not so much he can do. And uh, with the ending of uh, the monetary programs, uh, there is practically nothing he can do. So I'm afraid we'll have to live through this recovery bit by bit, however slow it is. Is there something else that the U.S. should do to keep the recovery moving along that they're not doing already? Well, it could spend more stimulus money, but this will not pass through Congress. So uh, we, are, we are kind of stuck. Uh, the, the, there's a division of power, there's a division um, of um, ideologies, and given where we are, I, I don't think there are other possibilities. I think we are kind of stuck. Uh, it's possible um, that the monetary programs might last longer than uh, Mr. Bernanke implied recently. Uh, that m will be useful, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not. Speaking of politics, we keep going east to Europe. Have the politicians in Europe figured out the right strategy to deal with the crisis? And I guess, have they been successful at it? I think, uh, I think that's uh, for sure no. I mean, the things have not really uh, been dealt with uh, in, in Europe, despite the fact that there are uh, programs, uh, the European Union and IMF programs in Greece, Portugal, Ireland, and so on. Still, um, the debt has not been erased from the books. It has just moved around from uh, uh, national governments to banks and it's still there in the books. Uh, the European Union has not yet created uh, a comprehensive strategy to get out of the crisis. And uh, there are big divisions among the countries uh, in uh, the Eurozone. Uh, there are uh, significant disagreements between uh, the IMF uh, and the Eurozone leaders. Uh, I don't see a very good uh, solution there in the short run. Professor, we keep going uh, to the east. We almost made it around the world here to Australia, down under. The commodity prices have pulled back significantly. Australia is concerned about their own growth rate. Are they going to experience a potential, at least psychological, recession at this point? I think that's, that possibility is there. There are no good uh, indications that the commodities are going to recover. So as long as uh, we are in this world, uh, things don't look the best in Australia. All right. Uh, professor at Berkeley and NYU University and, of course, New York City, thank you for going around the world with us and getting a, a quick checkup on how everyone is doing around the world. Thank you very much.